Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here. So today I'm going to quickly show you how to do some laptop maintenance, cleaning. If you're trying to get on the inside of, say, your Toshiba, I'll show you. You could pretty much use this with most laptops probably, but each one varies. The one I'm working on is the Toshiba Satellite C650D027. So first things first, let's pop the battery, which uh, there's a lock clip, unlock, Hold this back to eject the battery, or well, to hold it and slide it out. After that, there's a screw on this plate. Undo this screw, pop our plate. Uh, there's a screw right here. Undo it, pop your plate. After you're within these plates, uh, we're ha we're getting there. Um, right here, you'll see one F3 screw. Unscrew it. it. Might be different for most. Then you can slide your drive out like so. After you've take the drive out now it's time to take your handy dandy screwdriver get all the screws there's silver ones in here get both these silver ones and the two silver ones under the battery and then unscrew all the F6's from up here after you get all the F6's out which you can see right here or you'll just undo them all and uh, you'll see that there's two hidden in here inside the hard drive compartment or not the hard drive the uh, memory compartment so you'll take these two screws out and then you'll take all these ones out. After you have them all out, you'll take your laptop, you'll flip her upside down, or right side up as I should say. And from here, I'm just gonna put the camera right here so you can see this. I'm gonna flip this up, and then on the edge here, you're gonna take either your nail, or you can take a very small flat blade, and then you'll slowly start popping. As you can see, I've already uh, popped this up. and you're just going to slowly go around. It is going to be tough in some areas, but don't go too hard. You don't want to break this plastic bezel. And you're just going to go around here slowly. Once you have this all sort of loose, you'll notice that it's still being held on. The reason why is we need to take our keyboard off. So if you still have that flat blade, see this right here? You're going to slide your screwdriver underneath it and slowly pop up this trim bezel around the keyboard. After you get this off, you'll slowly go along there'll be four very tiny screws holding on your keyboard you're going to of course just use your driver once again take them out uh, put these four screws aside because they of course are a different size and you don't well they're only gonna fit one place anyway but yeah so you're gonna lift this up a little bit and slide your keyboard down you'll see a couple of switches you need to unhook or a couple of wires one is being right here take your flat blade and slowly push this out so this is unplugged Then there's this one slowly unplug this one with your flat blade and then after that you're gonna pull, lift this a little bit and pull back And as you'll see there's a ribbon right here and there'll be a ribbon cable from your keyboard that will be in there you need to take your little flat blade and there's these little clasps you push them forwards or up or sorry as you can see here they're open and they're pushed forwards and then your ribbon should just come right out. This is going to be a little bit tricky when you put it back in, but uh, it's probably the trickiest part of this whole thing when putting it all back in. So take your keyboard out. You can clean that now. You can clean you know, your drive, check the other stuff. And then, of course, now you should be able to just lift this free and out. Ta-da, you're at your guts. So once you're in here, as you can see, mine's actually not too dirty up here, but I'll probably still take a some dust off and I'm gonna probably clean that up this is of course where your charging port is just in case you're gonna be uh, replacing this um, this tends to die on a lot of them even mine's dead I'll probably have to order a new one soon uh, might do some maintenance on it while I'm in here and then yeah you're just going through here and making sure that everything's nice and clean and of course make sure that you spend a lot of time on your keyboard because this is where the most gunge happens um, But yeah just get in here clean it all up and uh, you're ready to go. Use some dust off. Make sure you aren't using anything that'll like e-contacts. You can get contact cleaner and a toothbrush. That is my favorite thing to use for cleaning contacts. Um, and other than that, if you want, you can get underneath and clean that up. As you can see, my fan is actually kind of dusty. So I'll clean my fan, clean the rest. If you're cleaning your fan with a vacuum or something that blows, make sure you hold this or watch when you're blowing it you do not want it to spin really fast that can wreck the bearings in your fan and do some other crazy stuff which you don't want to happen so either hold it with a screwdriver or hold it with your finger when you're blowing in there to get everything out if you want you can have it twirl a little bit 
but don't have it spinning like crazy. All right, other than that, any questions you can post in the comment section below. It's really simple to put this back in. Um, just do this video in reverse, and I hope this helps you out. All right, have a great day. Like and subscribe.